Let's see how I get out of this mess. See, down. You can't do this off back one plus two, man. Look. Down four. Look, it's minus three. Sidestep. Boom. I didn't get to confirm. So had I had I landed this. You could confirm this. All right, here's the max damage you get. There you go. You can't get that from back one plus two. That's the other thing. A lot of Safina players are asking for back one plus two, and no offense, when I see somebody ask for that, I'm like, they are not doing well in, in Tekken in general. Which is it's not fair because, like, Lee has, I play Lee as well. Back 3-3 three, three is not fair. So why can't Safina have back? I understand it. But at the same time, these other tools are really good. I probably don't. I was late on the punish. Have you guys ever heard of the saying, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush? That's how I got to God of Destruction with Safina. All right, I go by Foolish Azazel. I have been playing Tekken a long time. I played Safina since Tekken 6. I consider myself an Oscar main all the way to Tekken 7 where I switched to Lee. I played Safina in 7, but I didn't really like her in there because I was really bad at Tekken. I like Lee better because I didn't understand movement and spacing. But I kind of wanted to do this video kind of like a, it's more like a thought dump than how to get God of Destruction it's a thought dump on Safina. Maybe I'm going to I'm going to give some insight into things I did and how I play. And um things I I liked about uh you know version 1 Safina and what I hope they change for season 2 Safina. As you can see here, I don't have the best stats in the world. I'm not 99 defense, 99 attack. But it's something I think a lot of people could do. Um so I wanted to run down a quick list and go over some replays of my play and how I got there. And um, I just kind of want to do a quick rundown on the list first of what you could do to get better with Safina is um, a couple of simple things. Not simple is quite a lot, but hopefully it helps you. So first and foremost, you got to get good at the Tekken basics. Tekken 8 has a lot of people confused and misguided. Tekken 8 has lied to you about the aggression. There is aggression, but there's a time and a place. You got to get good at the basics. Her basics are her one jab, down four, one, down back three, and down four. That's what I think is the core pieces of Safina. And four, 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 actually. I'm going to say that. You got to get good at your Tekken defense. And what I mean by that mainly is fuzzy guarding and when to sidestep. So hopefully you see that in, in the replays while I watch the matches. You need to learn to convert your combo. Every time I watch Safina people's replays, Safina players, they're like, what am I doing wrong? There's a lot. There's like two things. Usually it's heat and not converting combos. You do like bad combos. Not saying my combos are the best, but like convert your combos, especially to get to the wall. That ties into the next point. Her heat, her best thing about her heat is um, it covers her weakness. Her biggest pain point in the game, which is her combo damage and her combo wall carry. If you can get to the wall by using heat burst, you have to do it. And they're probably going to die after. You're going to see this theme repeat in the replays. I'm only going to play two or three. So make sure you're using heat to get to the wall. Second of all, use heat. This is more so for like the blue ranks, the Tekken God. I see a lot of Safinas don't even turn their heat on. So if you're getting messed up, turn it on at least. So you can command a little respect. And a lot of you like to do like bad flow charts with the stances the heat will because she has so many power crush properties in every single stance it makes the the stances a little bit more scary and more real still stoppable stop doing down three all the time aka learn the mantis stance better mastering mantis stance is going to make down three stronger because down three on its own is reactable and then all the things in there can be counterplayed. And even if you do the things that can't be counterplayed off of a sidewalk because you could just step everything except like two moves when you get to tarantula you do down four one and it's over because people just back dash away from you so you need to get good at staying in mantis you could block in mantis you could do a lot of things sidestep in mantis is excellent she turns into Zhao Yu in mantis what else uh you need to use spacing to create whiffs um all her heat and claw moves have spacing she also has like built-in spacing hopefully it comes in in the match i listed a bunch of moves maybe i'll put it in the description i ain't gonna say it right now and this is gonna contradict what i just said spacing to create whiffs otherwise if you're not creating whiffs you need to stay close to your opponent and do those basic tekken moves jabs down four one down four um you got to learn to take your turn 
take your turn with Safina. I like doing down back four and forward forward four. Hopefully that comes prevalent as I go through some some stuff. And um, you know what? Let's watch. I made this dragon off one and dummy. This would be a good place to start. Let's see what happens down here. But yeah, Safina in, in, in season one, she's a lot stronger than I thought. A lot of people have her middle of the tier list. Um, I think Safina players have her lower the middle. They want back one plus two. Back one plus two is not going to save you. They could bring back one plus two back and it's still going to be the same. And then right off the bat, you can see me. I'm fuzzy ducking because Dragon Off has good lows. The down two is the good low. If you if you didn't catch it, pay attention. This is very prevalent in how I play. Sidestep duck is very good. That'll catch down twos and you get around jabs. Four, four, four. Very good. The thing is, it's not the greatest approach tool. It's 17 frames, but Dragon Off can do run in two, which is comes out like what, 15 frames? But you see, I'm using this to control him. I'm minus eight. I want him to swing back into me so I can keep going. And he does, but it's a plus frame move. So I'm gonna chill. Look, sidestep duck. I right, try to get a sidestep one plus two off to try to get some spacing or get heat. I didn't get it. This is the crux of Safina. It's jabs, down four, one. Jabs, down four, one. You land down four ones, you're gonna do this. See, claw, move right into that. Try to, it's not necessarily a frame trap, but I like to do this, right? If I land this down four, one, four, you could do down four for a counter hit confirm because a lot of people like to power crush or heat burst after. That will launch them. Down four is really good. Down four is really good in this game. And that's why I say back one plus two is not gonna help you. It, 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 it could, it, I'm not gonna stand and lie to you. Like, would I be happy to have back one plus two back? Yes, I would. But I think I would be even stronger now if they did bring it back because I know where it would fit in my game plan because the other moves are stronger down back one plus two don't lead you nowhere. That's like a round ender. That's like a panic tool. But if you if you do the things I listed, you don't really need it all the time. I do welcome back one plus two because I think it is a really good faster option. I, don't, I think it was it 16 frames. So if they make it 16 frames, actually, let me um, let me take over. Let me see. It's 16 frames, so that'll be good to stop heat burst in the neutral. Anyway, so I like this after landing down four one four. I like to try this move. This move can be power crushed, actually. So it's not a true frame trap, but it's a good option because if they block it, it's gonna create spacing. And then I could try down four if they wanna um, heat burst order. You see this? And heat. Like I said before, the more powerful thing in this game. I used to think of heat as a way to do um, these these setups, right? So I'm going to do run in three into plus seven, down three. He does block it and he tries to punish and I power crush. So the power crush didn't activate in time. But look at the space. You see this? Look, 2.4, 2.5. That's a common flow chart of mine. You see, a lot of people don't a lot of people don't pick good moves after they get hit with these claw after they block these claw moves. I didn't get the right combo. I thought I just told you guys to get the right combo. But I think her real strength, the reason, the real reason is definitely heat burst to the wall. So you're going to watch me do this. I'm probably going to turn on heat. Watch his health bar. I did this to get to the wall because of this. Bop, bop, right? So I got him to the wall. Forward, two, three. Scarecrow, two. Perfect. See that slump on the wall? They have to take this one plus two. He's already at half life off of, uh, what is this? What did I even do? How did I get here? Heat burst to the wall is so important. Off one, four, panic. I just panicked, threw it out. He hit it, got countered. That, bop, bop, bop. Turn it on to get to the wall. It's very important. Got to the wall with a good combo. You have to learn these combos. This is gonna make you go up higher. This is, this is what makes her good. Cause now you gotta eat this whole sequence. At least to here. After this, boom, look. He ducked or whatever, pressed. I didn't even do a good combo after. Damn, foolish ass is up. The round is over. Round three. That's what's really strong about her. So I hope nothing changes with that. She keeps that because um, I had a Safina friend who says he'd rather play on an open stage than the closed stages. That's because he's got really good Tekken. For me, if I could get you to the wall, you're gonna, you're probably gonna die. The odds go in her favor with heat burst at the wall. Um, 
What else about Safina, man? You gotta learn how to use her stance. Her stances are annoying in this game for both people. Like, Scarecrow, to me, is so frustrating because what I learned is I just start going. It's like you have to stick your neck on the line for Safina. That's the thing. And it's not even about the stances. It could be anything. Like, down forward three, you're sticking your neck on the line. Uh, one plus two, the counter hit, the, the counter hit string, you're sticking your neck on the line. Where a lot of characters, they don't really have to stick their neck on the line like Safina does. That, of course, only matters so much if the other player has decent Safina knowledge, right? That's a great option for Safina for, for a transfer down to. Alright, keep the space. I'm trying to be careful. I'm a little scared. I should probably turn my heat on, but I didn't. Again, because I want to save it to get to the wall. But if you're like blue rank to Tekken, if you want to get blue rank to Tekken God, that's like turning your heat on and running through her, her stances is a great way to mess a lot of people up and get good use out of her heat to come back. I just so happened to catch him on a whiff. I set that up. See this? I love down back four too. Down three, that's a classic flow chart because down three goes like three character spaces. You see the distance from opponent? That'll reach like three. And it'll it'll counter hit uh, power crushes. But check out what I do. See how evasive this dance is? I went for Mantis four. Now I see I'm minus three. Let's see what I do. I try to sidestep because it's, she could be very evasive. She's not as evasive as Zhao Yu, but it's like, it's close. So I really like Mantis um, 3, and I'll stop to see what they do. I like Mantis 4, and I like sidestepping in Mantis a lot. You're very evasive. I guess wrong on the power crush. The other thing, her, I like her power crush a lot. I don't understand, though, why she has to take damage with Azazel Claw moves. I could understand taking damage for this, which she doesn't take in heat, by the way. That's really good. And this this gives, like, like almost... 50 some odd damage but i don't understand why she i think they should take that out like i don't like why are we taking chip damage to do our azazel moves because they're more powered if that's the case other more people should be taking chip damage then right besides us in june in my opinion like take that out i think that will make her go up a lot and in, in potential all right turns his heat on smart man good see now i do it because i'm running out of time and i'm, I'm kind of pressed so i'm gonna spend it this is another thing her he smashes really good and i don't even want to put this out there because i hope they don't take it away because her he smashes 12 frames so at, at, when you activate heat burst it's 12 frames which means it's going to come out in 11 frames and it tracks so he sidestep and just got hit for that. boom so now we're even and i got rage now we're even Besides the fact that he has heat and dragging off is a heat monster as well. And I caught him. It's probably it. You see how easy that was. Another thing with Safina, like I'm I'm sticking my neck on the line for down forward 3-4. I like to test this move early. I had to add this to my arsenal because I would never, ever, ever, ever do down forward 3-4. Because I don't want to get ducked. But the problem is, and I think in general in Tekken, it does, it's not even for Safina. You have to find out who you're dealing with. And I like to do these things early. I've almost defined my style as like peekaboo fighting, like um, rope-a-dope. Like, um, I'm going to do dumb shit to see if you even know what to do. That's a big part of Safina. I, honestly, that's a big part of everybody. Because people will be like, oh, you knowledge checking? So, yeah, because you also knowledge checking. Do you know everything about Nina? No. Do you know everything about Dragonaut? No, right? You don't know that you could power crush in between getting hit and they go for back one plus two. I know that because I, I played Dragon off, so I studied that. But um, you got to find out. Like there, he probably thinks I'm dumb. Like oh, you can like I could just do down three four three. You know, so I just got hit. Again, four 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 is another important factor. I whiffed it there. Look plus four. I immediately try to check for the side step. Right? Because you got to get good at being close. See, I'm not too far away. I'm not too close. I tried down forward two. You can get it. Missed it. That's another thing. I like Mantis one instead of going through the whole thing. I think it throws people off. 
You see I did down forward one? Watch. One. I hit him. That's another thing. When you hit somebody in Tekken, it doesn't have to just be Safina. Keep going. So I did down forward one and I stopped. See? See, now he, he did something and I tried to interrupt him. All right. Blomp bomb. Another thing I love about Safina, I'm glad he did that. I think this is one of the best, strongest things in the game. I think this is the best move in Tekken 8, is the Blonde Bomb, especially in Heat. Because it is a minus 14 move, mid power crush. She could do it from crouch. And when she's in Heat, you have to hold that shit. So the thing with Safina is, she has Mantis down 4-1. Um, which is becomes power crushing Heat, and it launches and it launches that's why you got to get good at mantis because you're gonna miss out on that move and she also has tarantula down for one which um is a power crush does not launch and then she has scarecrow down for one which is a wall splat move and it power crushes very good so i, I think she has one of the best mechanics in the game in terms of heat heat mechanics mid power crushes she doesn't have them in the open like without heat but in heat she does from all three stances so keep that in mind when you're playing. If you're like struggling to get to blue or you're stuck in blue, that's going to take you far because you could all of a sudden start doing um, these stance setups. I watch a lot of Safina players and like they'll just do Scarecrow and start doing 3-3. Like it would be scarier if you were in heat and then you started trying stance stuff. Right? I did, you got to be ready. I wasn't ready to convert the combo. I was stuck in small Tekken mode, so I missed that. I should have did down for one and kept the combo, but well, whatever. It's also not a good stage for her. Nice, try. nice parry. So those are some good things about her. All right, didn't get the big whiff punish, but that's okay. See, this is the second time you've seen this. This is something I like to do a lot, and it's really not that good after four four three. It's better after running three, but okay. So I know he won't. He'll, he'll chill. 4-4-4 four, four, four is really good. That's another another thing you guys got to stop doing. 4-4-3 four, four, plus 4. There you go. Alright, now I'm trying to stay with him. Power crush. Staying close. I made a mistake, but he got hit. So, that happens sometimes. You know? Again, he does that again. Chill. Look, nice sidestep. You got to get good at sidestep. Like, blocking and sidestepping is very important. And... Let's just watch our inputs here real quick. So he, he hits me. I'm going to go minus four. I sidestep and I kind of committed to it. You want to be careful not to commit so much. Hopefully there's examples where I commit to movement. That's actually a bad habit of mine. I'll commit to like backdash or sidestep and do down forward two. Which is, it worked out here, but sometimes that could be a bad thing. I got killed by that a lot. Now you notice I didn't go into heat, right? Remember I said the heat is important. The reason I didn't do it here is because this stage is so big and I'm not going to reach the wall. So what I like to do is 4-4-3 four, four, plus 4 in the combo ender because look where they are. They're really, really close to you. And I walk up and I do down back 4 and he blocked it. Remember that. I like to go up and do 4-4-4 four, 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 or down back 4 after that. And up a counter. Down back 2 is important too. That's a good. 1, down 4, 1, down back 2 is, is really crucial for her. So I block. He's doing this dumb sidestep shit. Nina. Ah. Look, and you see, I follow up. Another thing, you have to stay. That's why I said one of the points is stay close to the opponent. Because I used to back off and like, okay, now I want to look for running one running one plus two, four, 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 down four, two with punish. Stay close and get extra damage. And look, I try again. That's like a that's like my mix. Four, 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 and down back four. I like to mix that in advantage situations for me. That was a big part of my game to get because her combo damage is low, man. And I hope they change that. I didn't do the right punish. I hope they change that because everybody is just has incredible wall carry and incredible combo damage. And her combo damage is so freaking low. So she needs something in her combo game. I, th I think she needs a whole new move. She needs like another move, something else or like more extensions off her like down four three or something because Nina has new extensions from her down 4-3 I probably should turn it on I'm trying to get chip I'm falling in love with trying to get the heat engager to get my damage back from chip 
Let's see how I get out of this mess. See, down. You can't do this off back one plus two, man. Look. Down four. Look, it's minus three. Side step. Boom. I didn't get to confirm. So had I had I landed this. You could confirm this. Right, here's the max damage you get. There you go. You can't get that from back one plus two. That's the other thing. A lot of Safina players are asking for back one plus two, and no offense, when I see somebody ask for that, I'm like, they are not doing well in, in Tekken in general. Which is it's not fair because like Lee has, I play Lee as well. Back three three is not fair. So why can't Safina have back? I understand it, but at the same time, these other tools are really good. I probably don't. I was late on the punish. This is another thing. Look, we'll see what, what happened here. You don't punish me. And I ducked. I you see my inputs. I backdash duck. Backdash duck is really important for her, especially off down four one. I was negative there. She should have punished me. But backdash duck into confirm. You could confirm while standing one two as well. All right. Like I'm gonna save my heat because it's far. The wall is far, and I'm ahead by a lot, and I want to keep it. Look. See. Remember. Remember last time I did down back four, right? Four four three plus four. Keep them close. Dash up. He ducks anticipating down back four. So I could have did two things. I did forward one plus two because it's a mid. Or I could have did four, four, four. Or I could have did down back four and finished with two. She had the extension. Down back four is really fucking good. Down back four to sidestep. Down back four to back dash. Down back four to mantis. Down back four to mantis and heat. Down back four, two to finish for people who are blocking or punishing you. It's over. Safina didn't lie. Alright, I didn't fall for that time, but I didn't duck either. Nice. Look, see? I'm staying in it. Again, challenging is important. Where, why did this happen? I'm minus four. I backdash. See, he had plus frames. I don't know much about Nina's side step one and all this stuff. But this is a common theme. I, I got a destruction. People do not take their frame. What he should have did was hit me and kept going. He expected me to 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 falter. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try 1 plus 2. And he did down back 2. That's way too slow. 1 plus 2 and down forward 2 are really crucial for her in challenging. Because you're going to get big rewards. So that's another thing. I messed up the combo. I was trying to do forward. Damn, I can't even get to all the points. I tried to do forward 4, 3 plus 4. But I, ran, I said I didn't get it. See that? Look, he tried a power crush. Look at his inputs. He wanted to do blom bomb. This move is hella good, man. It's better to me than down three look remember what i said when you have the heat all her stand stuff becomes more scary he technically did the right thing because lows beat power crush but uh crouch jab is a special low so it doesn't really count fully as a low but it is a low technically so what would have been better is um down four that would have stopped that and then he tried to blom bomb which if you do your power crush later than theirs, your power crush will power crush. It will register first. If you don't believe me, just just take my word for it. If you if I did that first and he did his blom bomb late, he would have won that. And uh, yeah, that person actually quit on me in quick match. <laughs> so there we go. Um, let's go watch. Let's skip ahead some matches because I played a lot. Play different friends and people. And let's get closer to my promotion. This these matches were good. Let's watch this. Get Prime cream of the, the crop. Battle. This was uh these are pretty good Safina showcase matches. It's funny because this was good for me and really bad for him. And then my match I promoed on, shout out to the Tekken Sis Custom, was actually on paper the better match, but I played so sloppy. I really got lucky in that match. All right, let's start over and see. Round one. Against Machine as I like the fuzzy guard a lot. Look, see, look, down for one, hit him, try again. See, it looks stupid, but I, I did down for one. Let me try it again, it hit, let me try again. You gotta get used to, jab, down for one, look. Try to down for, didn't recognize his strength. He did down two, okay. Jab, look, jab control. Man, um, Wild Rising 3 is really is, is pretty good. You could go backwards, but again, you have to buy respect. Earn respect 
with the scarecrow so that's why i challenged i finished it uh, this is important watch this trade it's in my favor i walk up down four right because i've just been jabbing a lot another thing with down four uh, at zero range at, at point blank range it tracks both ways it tracks both ways it's a really good move and what i did was i finished it i don't know why i finished it maybe i was testing him maybe i just panicked but he didn't do nothing so that tells me he don't know safina so that's why i like to find out early if your opponent so that's my thing i like to do if i try to find out is one four and down forward three four that's how i like to find out if you know how to play safina watch this i do it again i sidestep but around the heat burst the reason i don't know why i did the first one but the reason i did that again is because i knew he would do something stupid if i if he was presented the opportunity so i got that i got screwed a lot i, I remember this match look at this oh my god so i'm losing my main power by not getting to the wall and then i mashed and got heat or heat uh dash launched i still got heat though ah wake up hell sweet classic fuzzy garden i'm worried about down two i want to catch it see that i ducked in time and got up in time to block that's an important skill that's not even safina related and it's again fuzzy guard it's really good off of her down four one her down four one is a very good place to practice that with so make sure you practice that again down four side step really good how many times you seeing this you seeing this right nice parry fucking hate you that's another thing why is her her um scarecrow 2 1 is is one of her he didn't get it could be parry uh whatever you know but <sighs> she has like she's almost like not tekken 8 of 5 and he at the wall is when she's the most tekken 8 to me i tried to do plus frames in the down back four didn't work check you see how i checked the the while standing i got hit with heat burst so that means i'm in crouch i like to do this to see what's up if I did heat burst some crouch, he would have got smacked. Actually, let's try it. Oh, I did the wrong button. Oh, he blocked in time. See how it tracks him? But I, I was trying to see if he would jab me. I did not get a, a hit, so I did not confirm the launch. I missed his punish. But I go... That's the, remember I said take your turn, right? So I missed the punish. So I didn't do the right punish. But I immediately played down back four. You got to go back in with down back four, down four, one, down four, one. Go back fast. Four, four, four. All right. I did that. Spam my heat. I like to do this after heat dash to lock people down. I can hear Prodigy yelling at me right now. But I do it because it locks people down. And then I, what did I do? This Remember I said I have a bad habit? Here it is. Two, one. This is a good spacing move. If you back dash, a lot of people will whiff. Here, let's try it, actually. I didn't, I didn't get back in time. But if he did like Wild Rising 4, if it wasn't at the wall, it might have made him whiff. But you see my inputs. I backdashed and did down forward 2 instead of seeing what happens. That's a bad habit of mine. It's a, it's a lot of people have this habit. Sometimes you have to do it too. If you sure, but I, I, I wasn't sure. This is cool. So he hit me with the electric at plus 5. And I jab challenge. And he did his heat smash. It's important to challenge too, but you want to challenge with one, down back two, down four, one. Because it's fast. And he, what did he do? He was plus five, did his heat smash, and he didn't get shit. Right? Grab him. And what do I do here? Oh, okay, so this is a callback. So in the, the match I didn't show before this with me and him, he rage to me to um, win a round off of this down four, three. What I should have did was this. When you get when you get situations when you knock people down four 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 down back four let's see didn't work four 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 down back four it's a good mix dash up pop see i was trying to get him to spend his rage art this is bad i should have just chipped him away but i was trying to make him do the rage art to end the game look fuzzy guard caught caught the hell sweep that's a big part of getting up to here. 
again, look. Minus. But he, there's spacing. See all the space? Two for it. So I challenged with a jab. And he did Demon Paul. Yes, he did. That's too slow to come in. Jab challenge is important. Fuzzy Guard. Look, Fuzzy Guard got him. That's why I like to do it versus Machinas. And again, here we go. Uh, to the wall. Watch his health. He's pretty much full health. Turn the heat on. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. I don't know why I did that. And then I challenged with the heat smash. And that's the round. Gotta get good at heat in the open and good with the heat at the wall. That'll make you immediately improve blue rank to second guy. I promise you. And good combos. How do I get out of this? I should probably grab the switch sides. Oh, I caught him. Remember what I said? Challenge with down forward two and one plus two is good too. So he hit me on minus 11. And he took too long. Instead of taking his frames, he delayed. It looks like he did some type of wave dash or something. Or he tried to heat burst. He, uh, he smash rather. I caught him with down forward two. Real easy. I'm going to turn it on. Again, remember what I didn't turn it on the other game? Because the wall wasn't in play. Now I'm to the wall. Same. Look, look at his health. Bop, bop. This is like a flow chart. You can still try and true. I try to do running. And it's over. I gotta start launching these these uh, kicks. That's another thing I practice too. Is after ending my combos and knocking them down, dash up, block. I'll respond down back four or four 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 one plus two. This guy screwed me out of it. Uh, okay, so we'll watch this match and I'll end it. This is my promotion match. So that was really good for me, Safina, but bad for him because he didn't. He didn't use his frames right, and he seemed to not challenge the Fina frames, which is funny because this guy did a much better job. But the reason I won this match is because, as you can see, his prowess, this is probably like his second or third god run for a character. So he's not good with Devil Jin combos, but he's a good Tekken player, and I'll show you why. Look, I'm Fuzzy Garden. All right, chill. Fuzzy Guard, Fuzzy Guard. All right, he's not throwing electrics. Now I'm thinking, oh, let me throw 4 4 4. He's standing still. Bop. Had I kept Fuzzy Garden, right? Letting the other person do something to you is like one of the best things for Safina. That's where I think she thrives. Like, let them come to you instead of you trying to get to them. And you can get to them, but you gotta be careful. And she's not that good going to them, right? You would think running three and one plus two? No. Because these people are gonna hit you out of it or sidewalk you. This was, this is why I was like, yo, this motherfucker is nice. He's pretty smart. Watch this. Gets me to the wall. He drops his combo. Again, remember. So he hit me with that move, right? I'm plus one. So I know lows like this are usually like minus one, minus two. So I jab challenge. He did a low crushing generic ankle tap. Goes under my jab. I know the generic ankle tap is like minus four. It's not plus. I down 4-1 and he just so happened to sidestep away from the side of the down 4-1. That's how you step the down 4-1. Screwed. And then look what I did. Alright. He set that. And look, he wait, he confirms. Remember on my bad habit? He's waiting to confirm. And what does he do? Oh, he doesn't get the launch. But now he goes down back two plus three. But what do I do? I sidestep. And look what his frames. Look, he did a 13 frame. He was trying to frame trap. This person is much better than the other gym player, right? It just so happens this was a bad game for me. But luckily, it just so happens he's not a good devil gym combo. Now remember, you see this? 4-4-4, four, four, four. keep him in check, track him. You see how I stay close? Let me see, Storm. How do, should I down back forward? Look, see? He, he got up to block it in time. Look, he's gonna roll. Let's watch his inputs. Look, he's ducking, he's choosing duck. And he while standing forward. So had I chose what I've been telling you. Boom. See? And then you run up again. Down back four. Very good for her. Very good for her. And it's not Kazuya. It's not Mishima Hell Sweeps. But it's like, yo, that's what she has. You know? Not everybody is Mishima. Not everybody's king. You know? So you go play those characters if you want. This is funny because look, I'm about to die. And her down, if you know anything about Safina, her down three combo 
is kind of ass, but she has a good setup off of it. But I knew the wall was close, so I'm like, okay, don't do the whole thing because you're just gonna, it's not gonna work. It's gonna push them to the wall, and I'm gonna, here, listen, I'll show you what I mean. I'm already messing up the combo. Right, so I would do this, and then I would do this. It would have worked, but I wasn't sure. It would have worked. So I delayed. I did this, and I delayed. I sidestep with Mantis to make sure I follow his roll, if he rolled at all, and then I did down forward one. So, watch this out. He's going to go down to almost dead. And then what I do is I do an immediate heat dash because that did 20 damage off chip. So now I just want to get him down and maybe get him on the wall. And he blocked that. That's another good. When you do 2 1 3 and cancel it, if people duck, they know a little something about Safina. So he knows he knows about Safina. Now I'll keep that in mind. He demon pawed me and sidewalk and confirmed it with 1 1 2. He's not launching me, right? Remember my bad habit? So that's something I gotta do. I gotta be like him. Alright, Fuzzy Garden, down three. Alright, playing with Mantis. I mean, this is like the third match we've seen this. I catch them with like down 4, 1, 4, or Mantis plus frame and do 4, 1, plus 2. It's really good. And down, and it makes down 4 strong. Because people start letting you get down 4. I missed that for reasons I won't go into. Pay attention. Right? 4, 4, 4. Keep in track. Because he likes to sidestep after his minus moves. This is going to be real good for her. I try to do this. He doesn't... He doesn't know how to counter Safina and Tarantula. So that's good for me. Remember I said my bad habit, right? Alright. Down 3. Remember I said I like Mantis 1. That's true. I sidestep. And I get hit. But look at my inputs. I immediately try to do down forward 2. He caught me with the, the, the steel pedal. Had I done this... You can sidestep. Let me see. See? Look. But I wanted so much. I wanted down forward 2. Had I just not been looking for down forward 2, I could have got something. It countered it. Now I'm in trouble. Now I got to think about turning heat on. Oh, he messed up his combo. And I got panic while standing 1-2. Win the match. Win the round, rather than the match. Round three. Fight. So Safina, she's better than people think. I think you just... It doesn't... It's not conducive to how Tekken 8 is played by the top tiers. Which is okay. Remember his Demon Paw, though. Demon Paw sidestep. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. You have to control people. Jab, down 4, 1, down 4, 4, 4, 4. These are good things to do. Look, I didn't, I should have stayed on them. I don't know why I was, I'm probably nervous because I'm about to throw away this match. I know I'm playing bad. Down 3. Alright, check. Relax. Okay, okay. Back dash, try to get space. Because now I'm playing spacing because I want to get down 4, 2 to win, to get, to get a comeback. And I lost. It's an ugly game, man. I don't get that. I don't take my turn. I'm playing out of character. Finally. the re And also, what landing these a lot, that's what lets you run up and do this move. Because people interrupt. I see it with the Safina players. I made a mistake. I shouldn't be playing with Safina moves this down in the match, but whatever. You have to play solid, like I said. Look, see? Like that. Exactly. So you get a mistake. There you go, see? Remember I said you gotta be comfortable up close? Uh huh? Uh I didn't get nothing. What do I do? I start doing my drill. Back dash duck, back dash duck. Works out. I catch while standing one two. It's very good for her, the fuzzy guards. After down four one especially. Now I'm coming back. And that's that. Boom. Down four down back four is so good. People fall asleep on that move. People know. I don't know why I did back two. That was horrible. People know down three is plus and they can't do nothing. Down back four is a nice ace in the hole. I'm getting fucked up. So this was funny. I remember this. So now I'm like, yo, I'm at half health. 
I have to heat burst. So I, that's what I'm thinking here. So I, I see him hit me and I heat burst. You see my button input on the left? And I'm like, oh shit, he's doing laser scraper. I can sidestep. But so many things are going through my mind because I'm trying to heat burst. I stop, I see laser scraper. I don't even sidestep to launch. And I'm trying to get off the wall. Her generic grab is a great way to get away from the wall. See, now I turn you on in a free, in a free moment. As soon as he whiffed that, I was like, yo, I'm going in. Fuck all this Safina video shit. How to play Safina. I'm going crazy. And I messed up here too. That's what I should have did. Right? This is what you should have did. Because my heat is running out. Especially because it... I'm just, I'm trying to the heat is running out. Especially because I'm doing down for one. You get a combo in the air. This is what I should have did. Right? I'm trying to catch him. I didn't do that. Alright. I whiffed down 444 and he immediately helps me. Good player. The problem is his dread his devil gen combos are ass. Now I got this weird back turn combo. And I was like, yo, 443 and just try to trap him against the wall. Alright, it's working. It's working. Oh fuck. Had he had heat, I would have died here. Fuck. Fuck! He finished that whole move. I know it's launch punishable. So what I did was, watch my inputs. I tried to do down four, three, four. And what came out is three and <laughs> into Scarecrow down four, which counter hit him, right? And I'm so lost. I missed that, but thank God I hit him and I got it over with. So that's how I got there. Hopefully you saw how I played in the notes. What I said in the beginning of the video matches up to how I played in the other matches, not this one. And hopefully you saw it all come through. I hope in season two she gets. I feel like everybody's gonna get new moves. She needs something more Tekken eight. Like down forward one being minus five is not cool. It is okay, but it's not cool. I would like it to be minus four, or down forward one two to be safe. That to me would be Tekken eight because the down forward one two uh, one is minus thirteen. A lot of people try to 10 frame punish down for a 1 2. Good players, people who know how to option select Safina. So, like, yo, just make it safe. Just make it. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. And it would give a, a Safina player more comfort. She needs something off her down forward 3 as well. Because Nina has down forward 3. And she, all her strings after used to be high. So you could just duck. But with Safina, it's either high or low. And it's like you do the low to not get launched off the high. But then they can still punish you. It's like, bro, like, oh, just give her a mid mid. That's like minus 13 or 14. I think that would help her a lot. Um, but otherwise, she's she's still strong. Uh, but she's she's lacking a couple things. I think she's a little higher than mid. She's definitely not top, but she's close. She's she's flirting with the, the top. Um, hopefully, you guys you got something to Safina rant. And I'm down to help anybody. If you have questions, hit me up. Seek me out. Peace.